It's Women's History Month, and at Wikimedia UK, we're celebrating the great women and initiatives that are closing the gender gap on Wikipedia and its sister projects. Subscribe to see interviews every Monday and follow the links in the description for ways to get involved. Today, we're joined by Victoria. Hello, my name is Victoria Leonard, and I'm a research fellow at the Centre for Arts, Memory and Communities at Coventry University and at the Institute of Classical Studies, University of London. So I'm an ancient historian and I work on, amongst lots of things, gender, women and theories of the body in antiquity. So my project that I'm here to talk about today is hashtag WCC Wiki, which is an initiative organised through the Women's Classical Committee UK, hence the WCC bit of the uh, project title. Um, and our initiative aims to improve the representation of women classicists, and I mean that classicists as very broadly conceived on Wikipedia. So really, we edit and create pages for all types of women, <coughs> including historians, archaeologists, theologians, critical theorists. So not strictly classicists in that, in that very um, narrow sense. WCC Wiki is entirely collaborative, and we bring people of all genders together through online editing sessions and in-person training events, at least uh, when we were allowed to do in-person training events, to make the contributions of women more visible online and openly accessible. How is your project tackling the gender gap on Wikipedia and its sister projects? Wikipedia's gender gap is a real problem. The platform has the, it's the, you know, it's the single most important archive of information in human history, but it has a significant bias against women, not only in the representation of women on Wikipedia, but also in the representation of um, editors of Wikipedia. So between 84 and 91% of Wikipedia editors are male and only around 19% of biographical pages feature women on Wikipedia. And this bias is even more pronounced in the field of classics. So an estimate from 2016 found that only around 7% of biographies of classicists on Wikipedia featured women. So really WCC Wiki was founded in order to rebalance this gendered bias in 2016. Um, and since 2016, we've held regular online editathons um, and in just doing this regularly, just bringing people together to edit um, and to create pages for women, we've really transformed the heritage of women in classics, both historical and contemporary women, from a largely unrepresented online demographic to what is now a highly visible and accessible part of classics. We've created or edited around 450 Wikipedia pages for women, including path-breaking foremothers who were only referred to on their husband's pages uh, and this is something that particularly particularly irates me um, so women like uh, Dr Miriam T Griffin, Dr Annie Err and Professor Leslie Brubaker they they're all notable in their own right but they didn't have Wikipedia pages they were mentioned only on the pages of their husbands so our pace of change at WCC Wiki means that on average we edit or create a women's page um, every other day WCC Wiki articles are featured regularly on Wikipedia's front page and an increasing number have achieved good article status. We've had WCC Wiki franchises being inspired internationally from Durham in the UK to Winnipeg in Canada and to Ohio in the US. Our Wikipedia pages have been viewed by hundreds of thousands of people and we really try to boost their impact on social media, mainly through Twitter, where posts there have reached 50,000 plus people. What would be most valuable to you to help your project to expand or increase its impact? This is quite a hard question, really. Um, I think that less sexism and less racism would be a great start. Uh, <laughs> um, I think really more bodies and more allies are the two most effective ways to expand the reach of WCC Wiki. Our initiative is entirely based upon volunteer labour, mostly by younger women who are precariously employed. And there's really only so much we can achieve with a limited amount of time from a limited number of people. So we're always looking for more people to join us in editing pages for women. And WCC Wiki doesn't just advantage women and it's not just the job of women. We do have some fantastic male allies who are a real central part of WCC Wiki, but a more diverse editing population would help us to broaden our content. I think there are some really considerable barriers that prevent people from editing Wikipedia. Um, 
So first of all, there are prejudices about Wikipedia, the prejudice that Wikipedia is not a good or reliable source of information with the attitude that I don't use it and in academic circles, I don't let my students use it and it is therefore irrelevant. But as I said, Wikipedia is the largest source of information in the world. And the way that online platforms like Google and Amazon scrape Wikipedia for information means that really, if you use the internet, then you do use Wikipedia. So I think we need people to understand the importance of Wikipedia as well as how it works so that they feel empowered to help to work towards positive change rather than just deciding it's irrelevant. I think we also need people to be aware that gender imbalance is harmful to everyone and there are lots of things, big and small, that people can do to challenge that imbalance. So I think this feeds into the allies issue that people don't automatically and actively support initiatives like WCC Wiki because they feel irrelevant to them. But being male and offering encouragement and support on Twitter or signal boosting to your own networks could really make a difference to how much impact Wikipedia, WCC Wiki could make. I think another significant barrier that prevents people from participating in WCC Wiki is more practical, just in getting editing um, in the first place. So we hear a lot of responses from people saying they want to get involved, but they don't know really how to get started. So just more basic training uh, and more widely available resources and support as well for those, not only to join the editing community, but also to remain within the editing community. Those are really the essential things. What are you most proud of? Again, this is quite a difficult question to, uh, to pinpoint. I suppose I'm really most proud overall of the tenacity of the WCC Wiki community, that when women's pages are targeted for vandalism or flagged for deletion, our editors put in huge amounts of time and resources not to let these pages be deleted or to let these women be forgotten. So it's not, it's not just about creating pages for women or editing pages and making them better. Um, quite often a lot of a lot of time and effort needs to be put into making these pages stick and also making making sure that the information on those pages is not removed as well. Um, women generally are held to higher standards than men and this tendency is really exacerbated on Wikipedia so that women have to achieve a much higher level in order to have a Wikipedia page and we saw this famously in 2018 with the Nobel women winning physicist Donna Strickland. And this gatekeeping becomes much more hostile if the pages you are creating are for women of colour or queer women or women whose success is less associated with notable and ancient institutions. So I think I'm immensely proud of every WCC Wiki page that has been edited or created, but I'm really especially proud of pages for women from marginalised or oppressed groups like black women, disabled women and, clear, and queer women. I'm also really proud of our project page on Wikipedia because it's such a fantastic archive for the initiative. It contains so much information about women classicists, especially those in danger of being forgotten. And it's a really important reference point, not only for the existing Wiki, WCC Wiki community, but also for those who want to join the community. Brilliant, thank you very much. And I will, of course, link to the project page as well in the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.